Hey everybody, I'm going to come into this new tutorial. So if you're willing to send your Bitcoin out of your MetaMask wallet, stick around because I'm going to show you how we can do this. So the first thing you need to know is that if you have a account here, you have your wallet into MetaMask, you might understand that you cannot have a Bitcoin token because it's not supported here into MetaMask. But what you can do is that there are other resources or other things that we can import into MetaMask. So you must be having maybe grabbed Bitcoin or uh, there's other features, these other assets that are here available into MetaMask. So in order to send away these tokens away from MetaMask, you need to have an exchange, or let's say you want to have another wallet, like the Coinbase wallet or your Neo wallet, depending on what you're trying to use for that transaction. So now that we find what's the token that we want to be sending away, let's say for example that I want to be receiving that into my exchange of Binance, let's say that I have some grabbed Bitcoin, right? So I'm gonna go back into my tokens, just in case you don't see it right in here, you can scroll down, Let's say I have this token, I want to go into send. But before we hit into this button, it's going to be asking us for a public address. So we want to go back into our Binance account, go into our wallet and fiat and spot. And in here, you want to locate the token that you want to receive. Now, in our case, it can be the grabbed Bitcoin. Now, let's click into the deposit, which is right in here. Now, let's select the coin that you want to receive. Now, it's going to be saying which word we have to make the deposit. Now. In our case, just to make sure, so we don't lose our money, so you don't have to be really aware of that. Let's go into our MetaMask and take a look where are our tokens, our assets stored. So my grabbed Bitcoin, I'm seeing that into the Ethereum mainnet. So once I've confirmed that, I can go back into the Binance account and select the Ethereum network. Now, what you guys want to do is to copy this address I'm going to go back into MetaMask. And now what we can do is to go back again, once again, into our token, go into send. And here we want to paste the address and put the amount that we want to be sending away. Now, let's say, for example, that you have one uh, grabbed Bitcoin. So so you don't want to send all that away because you need just a little bit more in order to be uh, paying for the funds of the gas. So after that, you can go back into next. And then if you go into your transactions of this token, into activity, you're going to see that your transaction is going to be appearing as pending. And now you can go back into your recent deposits and you might see that your tokens are now available into your Binance account. If you're willing to do the same thing with other exchanges like Coinbase or KuCoin, it's exactly the same process, even with a different wallet. But the thing is that you must have, you must know which network is your token located. So when you make the transfer, after you make exactly the same use of the network and exactly the same coin, you might be really secure that you're going to be receiving your money. Otherwise, you might be losing it. So be really aware and not to choose anything just by mistake. It's really worthy to double check your stuff before sending your tokens away. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.